Okay, you're looking to add those cool annotations to your YouTube videos? Well, for the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to effectively use annotations to connect and engage with your audience. Plus, I'm gonna show you a few things that you might not know. Okay, now adding those YouTube annotations could really engage your audience. Now, you can add a speech bubble, you can add a note, a title, a spotlight, or just even pause the video at the right time. Okay, that was just a little bit awkward. Well, I better show you exactly how to make those annotations on your YouTube video. Let's take a look. Okay, you ready to put that cool annotation in your YouTube video? The first thing we need to do is click on the video manager button up here in the upper right hand corner. This is gonna load in all your videos. And what we wanna do is select the video that we wanna add that annotation. Once you find it, go ahead and click the edit button. Then the next step that we need to do is click on annotations. This will automatically start playing the video. We wanna hit pause. Uh, and what we want to do now is use this slider right here and scrub it to the point in time where we want that annotation to show up. So right at 15 seconds. Now the next step that we need to do is click on the upper right hand corner where it says add annotation. We can do a speech bubble, a note, title, spotlight, label, and pause. For this one we're actually going to do a speech bubble. So it adds this little speech bubble here and what we want to do is be able to move that around. So all you got to do is click on it, hold your mouse button down and you can move this anywhere in the video frame. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is you can actually put dialogue in the speech bubble. You can either double click on that and we can actually say hi or you can go on the right hand side in this dialogue box and you can go ahead and type more information or all the information there. Uh, underneath that, there's a couple really cool tools. The first one is what we call impact. This actually will put a bevel and also a shadow on that speech bubble. This one right here will actually change the size of the font. This will actually change the font color. And this will actually change the annotation uh, background. So if we want it to be purple or we can have it be green or we want it to be black. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to do the start and stop time for that annotation to pop up in that video. Now to do that, you can either adjust it here, you can just select uh, the time. So right now it's at 15 seconds because it's gonna pop up. Let's go ahead and make that uh, 14. And then you can have it end, let's say on 25. Now another way to do that is to come right over here and just click on this, hold your mouse down, and you can kind of make it as big as you want or as uh, small as you want. And this is when the uh, annotation is gonna pop up. Okay, now the last function that we have is the link button. So we can go ahead and do a link. You can see here that we can do a video, a playlist, a channel. You can even tie it to your Google Plus profile. You can have it subscribed to your YouTube channel, fundraising project, or mer merchandise. Um, so let's go ahead and put a video in there. Um, we also want to test this out to see if it actually works. It actually pops up a new window. Hey guys, it's me, Mario Brown. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and go back to that. The last thing we want to do is uh, we want to be able to hit save here and then also publish. Now, this is live. It's ready to go. Um, this dialog box will be here with that link. So when they click on it, it'll actually take them to that video, which is really, really cool. Okay, let's do our next annotation. Uh, the next annotation is a note. Note is the same as speech bubble, so we don't need to worry about that. So what we wanna do is title. Title, you can go ahead and just start typing stuff in. You can see what that does. We can change the font size. We can actually change the font color. Um, and you can have your start time and end time. This brings a great title in there if you wanna just put something in your video. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite annotation tool, which is Spotlight. Now, once we uh, click to the end, I like to put a little uh, teaser at the end to get people to subscribe or look at my playlist or even watch other videos on my YouTube channel. So as you can see, this one is for the subscribe to my channel. This one right here is to watch a video. This one's to watch a video. This actually goes to a playlist. This one right here, this is what I like, is it goes to my Google Plus profile. So people can click on it, go to my Google Plus profile to get more information about me. Okay, I'm gonna give you one last bit of advice. You wanna really keep those annotations very simple and you wanna make it very easy for them to subscribe to your channel. Help me! Subscribe so we can get rid of these annotations. Ah.